851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. As you know, on the channel, I aim to cover a wide range of aircraft manufacturers, with the likes of Boeing and Airbus obviously being the centre of the focus. But I do try to get around to other manufacturers, should something noteworthy appear. One of the more prominent manufacturers in recent months on the channel has been Comac with their new NMA testing and their CR929, an aircraft which will rival the 787 and A350 series of aircraft. The CR929 has received a mixed reaction from the public, with a number of people being quick to fire shots at Comac for their design of the aircraft, which just so happens to look like an A350 and 787 hybrid. However, in recent days the aircraft has progressed quicker than ever, with engine choices now being almost decided. In addition, we got our first mock-up of what the aircraft would actually look like, and it's quite impressive to say the least. We'll begin with the engines though. The CR929 now has two finalists, which have been decided after a long time of debating, and those two are General Electric, or more commonly referred to as GE, and Rolls-Royce. Thankfully, one of their chief designers commented on the decision to Reuters, saying, We are now choosing one or two suppliers, General Electric's GE NX, and Rolls-Royce's Trent 7000. I should add, this engine features on the A330neo, and recently has been having some delivery issues. Adding, but right now, Russia's United Engine Corporation and the Aero Engine Corporation of China are also cooperating on creating a new engine. All of these developments are being mentioned at the air show in China. While Rolls-Royce and General Electric have been noted to be finalists, as I mentioned earlier, Comac have already stated many times that engine manufacturers from Russia or China would really be given priority over, let's say, a Western engine manufacturer. The CR929, in addition to engine selection, had a life-size mock-up revealed. The mock-up was of the forward section of the aircraft, and it's pretty impressive. Comac outlined that the CR929 is a very important project for them and their full focus will be on this aircraft. Comac's vision is bold to say the least. They want a CR929-600 and a CR929-500, which would be a shrink variant. They also want a CR929-700, which would be a stretched version. However, it doesn't just stop there. Comac want their CR929 to act as a business jet, a private jet, and finally a freighter. Whether all of these will actually be achievable will only come with time, but one thing you can't fault is the ambition of Comac with this aircraft. In addition to the mock-up and engine choices, we got a glimpse into what the cockpit would look like. This was found again through the mock-up of the jet during the China Air Show. The cockpit will be very similar to that of the C919, a single aisle jet with Comac. The business class shown in the mock-up would give passengers direct dial access and be in a one-to-one -one configuration. Meanwhile, in standard economy, it'd be a nine abreast layout. That's 333. If Comac do release three variants of the CR929, first of all, it'll be very interesting to understand the airlines interested in the aircraft, but also the variants will be best compared to the 787 series. Similar to the 787, there would be a CR929-500, and as mentioned earlier, this would be the shrink version. It could be compared to the 7878. There would be the standard Dash 600, which could be compared to the Dash 9 of the 787 series, and finally a stretched Dash 700, which could be compared to the 78710. As a general aviation enthusiast, I believe where Comac is headed is no doubt very intriguing, and like all programs, I wish them the very best. One last important thing to mention is actually the demand in Asia for aircraft. Airbus notes that China alone will need around 7,400 new aircraft to help cope with the demand, and it's very possible that Comac could take a chunk of this market should their aircraft suit customers' needs. This announcement from Airbus no doubt has given Comac that little bit more hope that there is a strong possibility their CR929 could definitely make it within the industry. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.